slammed it down on her head. Poor Mary died instantly. The sound of screaming attracted the police nearby. The smart John hid in a cupboard. When they came in, he immediately pretended to be the victim. In this way, he escaped justice. But John also became a psychopathic murderer. Ten years had passed since then. With his mind twisted, he began to hate women. Whenever he saw a beautiful girl, he would kill her. That day, he killed another female student. Now the whole college is gripped by fear. But what's even more frightening is that no one had ever seen his true face. That night, Shirley was alone in the pool, and John the Terrible is standing by, ready to kill his prey. He wrapped a fishing net around Shirley's head, then he pulled her up to the shore. Before the girl can react, John quickly took her life with his chainsaw. At this point, he cut off Shirley's head and put it in the safe. Then Bill, the school gardener, came to the pool. He found the mat covered in blood. Before he knew what was going on, several police officers rushed in. 